Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, let's start by reading this problem together. The value in dollars, V of X. So they're telling us that V of X represents the value, right, this, this term, the value uh, in dollars of what, let's keep reading, of a certain car. Oh, of a car. After X years, so X is the number of years. I like to label this stuff as I go. And there's the equation, $25,000 times 0 0.86 to the X power. The structure of this is, a, this is an exponential equation. So this number right here is the principal balance. Print, oops, principal balance. In other words, that's the starting value of the car. Principal balance or starting value of the car. Maybe starting value is a better way to say that, but I typically call it the principal. This is your rate of growth or decay. In this case, this is our decay. Um, decay because, first of all, cars lose value over time. As soon as you buy a new car and you drive it off a lot, it really loses a tremendous amount of value. So this, this number I know is decay. Even if I didn't know that about cars, I know this is a decay function. I know the car is losing value because this number is less than one. And then here, x is, in this case, referring to time. What do they want to know? To the nearest dollar, how much more is the car worth after two years than three years? OK, so we're basically going to plug in 2 for x and 3 for x and then compare. So we know what v of 2 equals and then v of 3 equals and then compare these two. In both cases, v of 2 and 3 start with 25,000. I guess that's what the car is worth at the beginning, right? And then 0 0.86 times to the second power, excuse me, and 0 0.86 to the third power. What do these equal? Let's compare them. Now, one thing to think about, it might not come up in this problem. Uh, when you're rounding to the nearest dollar, um, I'm going to basically set both of these answers up and not round to the nearest dollar until the very end. So in other words, I want to figure out V of 2 precisely, then V of 3 precisely. Then I'm going to subtract to so know how much more. It is that if they said how many times more it is, then you would divide. But I'm going to find both of them as precisely as I can, then take that answer and round it. Um, that, if you take that technique, if you don't round it to the very end, usually you'll avoid any issues you might have. So let's plug this into the calculator. So we have 25,000, three zeros, times, what we'll use parentheses here, 0.86, use the power button here, to the second, press right. Close parentheses, that's our first answer. 18490 so it's worth $18,490 after two years. So we lost that much value. It's called, it's depreciation, it's called, I believe. Yes, depreciation. Then I take 25000 and I multiply by 0.86 to the third power. Oops. I don't know if that parentheses will cause an issue. Let's see if it does. Oh, it didn't matter. Did it matter? Let me do it again. 25,000 times 0 0.86. And then, oops, oh boy. Exponent 3, right arrow. Let's see, that should give me the same answer, I believe. Yes. 15,901.4. And then I'm going to just subtract 18,490. I know we would typically subtract the other way, but I know if I change the order that I subtract, I just get the opposite answer. So I get negative 2,588.6, right? Negative, negative 2,588.6. That really multiply by negative one, because if you change the order and subtraction, you switch the value. That's positive. 2,588.6, round to the nearest whole number. Since this is a six, if it's five or above, you round up. So this is 2,589. And that is choice one. And this tells you, if they asked you more about this, it seems that between these two years, we lose $2,589. All right, hope this helps.